In this video, we're going to talk about the properties of kites. Uh, by the end of this video, you should understand the properties and be ready to apply them. So let's, uh, let's take a look at some pictures here. We have uh, a few quadrilaterals here on the left, which are kites. And notice that I have a pair of congruent segments next to each other over here, and another pair of congruent segments next to each other on the other side of the figure. And we have this for all of these. So two pair of congruent segments next to each other, and then another two pair. So all of these figures over here do have two pair of congruent segments, at least two pair, but this one doesn't fit because it doesn't have four sides. This one, all the sides are congruent to each other. And this one, the congruent sides are across from each other. And this is some weird shape that only has, uh, that has three pair of congruent sides, so that wouldn't count as a kite either. So, our definition of a kite here is a quadrilateral with two pair of consecutive sides congruent. All right, so we see in the picture here, I've got this pair of congruent sides, and I've got this pair of congruent sides. All right, and then we've got some other vocabulary here. We've got vertex angles. So up at the top and down at the bottom, it doesn't necessarily have to be the top and the bottom. But if you notice, if I draw in this diagonal here, I have an isosceles triangle on the top with these two yellow tick marks being the sides, and I have an isosceles triangle on the bottom with the blue tick mark sides um, being the congruent legs. So then uh, in this picture, B and D would be the vertex angles, and then A and C, sometimes we'll call them the non-vertex angles. All right, and then if I draw in this diagonal, I'm going to end up with my diagonals being perpendicular. Okay, so the first diagonal we divided into two isosceles triangles, so a kite is actually made up of two isosceles triangles. And when we're starting, when we're talking about quadrilaterals, really we're going to be interested in their different properties. So it's very important that you uh, figure out some way to learn all the properties and keep them straight because we have lots of special quadrilaterals and each of them has their own properties that you're going to need to know. All right, so uh, first thing I want you to do is cross out that word trapezoid there that I crossed out already and write the word kite in there. And if you notice, some of the properties here refer to the angles and some refer to the diagonals. Um, we already know one of the properties based on the definition is that we've got two pair of consecutive sides congruent. So I'll just highlight that in the first picture. And the non-vertex angles, so in this case that's A and C, these are actually going to be congruent. So sometimes you're going to have to look at the picture and trying to decide what the properties are going to be. So non-vertex angles of a kite are congruent, all right, and then the vertex angles, so that's B and D in our picture, of a kite hour, uh, and then we have to fill in the word here. So I'm going to draw in this diagonal, and one of the things that uh, we'll learn about the kite here is that this angle at the top has been bisected by the diagonal, and this angle at the bottom has also been bisected R, bisected by a diagonal. Now this isn't true for the other diagonal, AC. AC does not bisect, or the diagonal going from A to C does not bisect angle A or angle C. So you have to be careful with that. Only one of the diagonals bisects the angles and it bisects the vertex angles. All right, 
Now moving on to the diagonals, if I draw both the diagonals here, we talked about this. These are perpendicular. Diagonals of a kite are perpendicular. So I've marked one right angle here, but really all four of these are right angles. So I have four right triangles here. And these two triangles uh, on the right side of this picture would be congruent. And these two triangles on the left side would also be congruent. All right, and then the last one, the diagonals connecting the vertex angle of a kite is the perpendicular bisector of the other diagonal. So let's go ahead and draw these in. So I've got this diagonal that connects the vertex angles, then I have my other diagonal. Now, the one that's connecting the vertex angle is the perpendicular bisector of the other one. So hopefully you can see that BD has not been divided equally, but AC has. So now I have perpendicular, so right angle. Remember, all four of these angles will be right angles. And I'm going to put another point here. We'll call it X. AX and CX are going to be congruent. AX congruent to CX. All right, so as you can see, just with kites, there's a lot of different properties that we're going to be using to solve problems, and it's important that you know the properties. So I would recommend that you make some flashcards or find a Quizlet uh, so you can start learning these. And uh, as always, make sure you ask questions, and we'll see you next time.